Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am awake. Thor news is saved. And Hurricane Dorian is on the move, what appears to be north by northwest. And Florida's good look appears to be North Carolina's bad luck. And so far, I have to give Taylor credit for being a good Florida protector. Hashtag Asteroid Fight Club. And yes, the comments will be back on. So you crazy people can go crazy. But like I said, it's probably bad news for North Carolina. Expected to make landfall at about a Category 3. And if we will look back to my August 30th prediction, back to when I'd still gotten enough sleep and hadn't started going crazy yet, you'll see that I predicted... Hurricane Dorian would make it about 210 miles off the coast of where Irma had hit and then go north. And so what this means is for the people who are upset that Florida hasn't been decimated by a major hurricane, well, the good news is you're probably going to get hit by a major hurricane around the middle of October at Crystal River. And for the sweet, nice lady who was very worried about it, uh, we have a month to prepare you, if not more, and I will make sure you are out of there. But yeah, dude, using the whole 210 miles east of the 217 landfalls, this has been accurate with this hurricane, and this has been accurate with Barry. So I'm pretty sure my prediction for a hurricane landfall in October is for inner Florida is accurate. And I'd like to thank all the awesome people out there who have contributed to Thor News with cash, with prayers, with well wishes. And I hopefully you guys understand that, you know, sometimes the haters and the trolls can take a toll on you mentally, mentally and physically. Reports have it that Josh Morgerman, the hurricane man, has survived, which is great news because it personalized this hurricane way too much for me. But the Grand Bahama Islands, our island has been decimated. The Abaco Island has been totally flattened. I would guess that there have been thousands of lives lost. That's my kitchen window that water is hitting. That has to be a minimum of 20 feet above ground. Bahamas Minister for Agriculture, Michael Pintard, describing flooding from Hurricane Dorian at his house in Grand Bahama. I mean, the Abaco Island has been totally flattened. Cranky weather guy, Dorian is starting to pull to the left. A general marking and centerline envelope presented. I have to get some other things done. Live tweeting returns later today. Please read all prior tweets. And so, Florida coast will still get some hurricane effects, but it looks like it will miss a landfall, although we will be tracking this thing nonstop. We still got about 58 more days in peak hurricane season. So for those Floridians upset that you didn't get a major hurricane landfall, I can almost guarantee you, you will get one in October. And where the rest of them go, no one knows yet. Alex Lubbers, Dorian has brought some friends along. Meet in best 91L, 92L, 93L, and Category 3 Hurricane, hurricane Juliet in the East Pacific. Special thanks to the lady who rescued 97 dogs as Hurricane Dorian batters Bahamas. Look at all those cute doggies. They're so cute. I love puppies. And for all the haters and the trolls out there, I just wanted to say, I love you. And hopefully one day we can totally get along. And sorry, um, while thousands of lives are being lost, I just don't have time to listen to dipshit crybabies. But yeah, the Abaco Island is totally flattened. And so that could have been South Florida. Yeah, dude, it's a hard time to be talking to the American public. It really is. Dave Chappelle hit it best. You know? I, mean, I appreciate all the good people. It's just there's a lot of people out there who are really, really, really unhappy with their lives. And they like to take it out on YouTube comments. Well, buddy, if that's your peak life, then comments are open. Have at it. Yeah, look at that. It's Abacoa Island. 
And honestly, the people who are like, hurricanes are fake. I, I, I don't need like, yeah, the sky's fake. My dick is fake. My ass is fake. The poops I take in the morning are fake. And I want to remind you again, this thing's probably headed for North Carolina. We will be watching for any surprises. And I'm going to be getting ornerier and more surly during hurricane season. So don't be surprised if people are going to be rude in the comments and then I get extra rude. Because you know what? If you don't care about people, then I don't know what to do with you. Yeah, I just woke up. I've been covering this thing nonstop for eight days. And no matter what, I think I'm going to go out and have a beer tonight. But this thing is still going to hug pretty close to the Florida coast. It's probably going to bring some hurricane effects. I mean, if you're lucky, it'll stay off <clears throat> the coast completely and there won't be a landfall. Uh, and Katia and New York and upper northeast coast, bring your wear your rubber boots and bring your umbrella on Friday. Please respect your local hurricane warnings, tropical storm warnings, hurricane watches, tropical storm watches. And um, since I just woke up, I'm going to do some studying on this thing for an hour or two and then get back to you guys with updates. And uh, I want to thank everybody again for all your love, help, and support. And, um, but yeah, I probably will get kind of surly in the comments if I'm going to keep them on. And at any point in time, I could turn them off if I want to, you know? So if you don't like it, there are other places you can go. But, you know, this is the, the modern day where the haters stick around forever. So, you know, I know it's probably my last hurricane season because it's just, it's, it's, it's difficult dealing with everybody, you know? All right. God bless everyone. Peace out.